Cousin Casey and Canadian Summer gear up for champion season when they step out in the Amzan Kulu Stakes and Bai Lee Turk at Hollywood Bets Greyville on Sunday. As the Equus champion two-year-olds from last season, what better way to kick off the winter than with last year's stars making their appearance? We were out at the Summerfell Training Center this week to catch up with their connections. Cousin Casey was easy to pick out in the ring. He's coming back down and trip in the Grade 3 Bailey Turk, but he's won over this course and distance. I did a nice little sprint up this morning by myself with Daryl Daniels on this morning. Um, I'm happy with his work, his preparation has gone well. Obviously the Bailey Turk on Sunday is just a prep run for obviously the July and bigger races coming up in the season. So I think he's about 80-85% fit, but I'm happy where he is and I'm expecting a very good run for him on Sunday. Cousin Casey comes again. His last run was in the World Sports Betting Cape Town Met. He finished less than two lengths behind Jet Dark. He travelled up to KZN a month later, arriving on March the 5th. He likes it up here. Um, he's been here I think about seven weeks now and all, all gone well. You just have to look at last year's form in KZN to realise just how happy he is in the province. Four runs for four wins, including a Grade 1 and a Grade 2. What type of horse is he to work with? He just does everything so easy and if you see him on the track the way he strides, he's just fluent the way he works and he just gets stronger and stronger as he gets on, you know. And I think from the first time we broke his maiden last season at Tell, He's just got a bigger horse and a stronger horse and he's definitely, he's matured since coming from Cape Town. He can get a bit naughty, you've got to watch him at the track, he gets fresh. But you want horses with a bit of a spunk, a bit of life in them, and he looks absolutely amazing. We caught up with Glenn in Cape Town about his plans for Cousin Casey over champion season. Everything depends on uh, his run on Sunday. He's obviously had a nice break now, so it's a touch short for him. He's giving six kilos to the whole field, so he's under no pressure. Um, we just want to give him a good gallop, and I think his class uh, should prevail and he should win. And from there, we're probably going to go Guineas, Daily News, and then into the July. It's the same route that I did with Big City Life. Um, but obviously, we've got to protect his weight, so um, we will be uh, looking at the noms. And uh, so this route isn't uh, set in concrete. We will we'll play it by ear you know, as we go and as the, the runs go. But yeah, that's more than likely the route we're going to be going. Another who's looking amazing is Canadian Summer. As a completely different type of horse with a different action, she's nevertheless equally as impressive. She lines up in the Grade 3 Amzan Kulu Stakes and is also a course and distance winner. How well is she coming into Sunday? No, we were very happy with her work this morning. Um, we've done her hard work, so it's just uh, putting the final touches onto her. So yeah, we couldn't be happier with her. Canadian Summers towards the inside. Right Since winning the Grade 1 to Queenie Stakes at the end of July, Canadian Summer has been sparingly raced. She finished second to see it again in the listed model man mile in November. That form has since been franked, with the three parts brother to do it again, having come out and won the Grade 1 Splash Out Cape Derby in February. Canadian Summer has subsequently won the Grade 3 Flamboyant Stakes over the mile at Hollywood Bets Gravel earlier this year. She's matured a lot. Um, I think missing Joburg uh, season benefited her. She's going into the champion season fresh and hopefully it will pay off for us. She's drawn one, the same barrier position from which she won the Grade 1 to Queenie Stakes. What type of filly is she to work with? Oh, she's so easy, straightforward, laid back, very sweet. Um, she tries her best. She runs her heart out, whatever you, whatever you throw at her. It's just the pleasure to work with every day. Our plan is to go probably the Phillies Guineas after this, um, and then the Wool Lavington. But they've changed the conditions of the Wool Lavington, so we've got to we've got to reassess that and see if we're still going to go for that race or not. Um, and if she stays the trip, um, Preggy's always dreamt of having a horse in the July, so that might be an option, or Garden Province on July there. Glenn Cotson also saddles Amina in the Amzankulu Stakes. As the winner of the Grade 2 Zulu Kingdom Explorer Golden Slipper in July last year, she has since been off the track. Yeah, Michelle, you know, she's unfortunate. She hurt to pull the muscle last season before the Gold Cup, and we never ran her. She went to Cape Town. And then she had the whole season off, she just rested. She's come back twice the size she was last season and she's 
obviously having a first comeback run on Sunday and she's doing very, very well. How much can we expect from her come Sunday? The last couple of weeks, the work she's shown, we're excited. I'm expecting a very good run from her. I heard some banter at the track this morning between you and Daryl Moore with Canadian Summer. Tell me about this. I think after Sunday he's going to buy me breakfast. Huh? <laughs> oh, when we realised that we're going for the, the same race, we've been uh, winding each other up since then. Uh. We look forward to Sunday. <laughs> Thanks. Outstanding. Thank you so much.